Assemble your garden champions. Find the passionate people in your school's community and bring together a group to actively research and promote your new garden project. This can include staff, students, parents, teachers, or community members. Promote your ideas in the school and surrounding community. Share resources and research your plan. Identify roles and responsibilities. Divide the work fairly within your team and remember to use everyone's unique skill set. Contact the school and get the faculty on board. This is your chance to collect the appropriate permissions. There may be other stakeholders who may want to be involved, such as community organizations and parent-teacher groups. This is the stage to identify your primary resources and formulate your plan. Make sure to acquire any financial resources, such as donors or grants, and follow your budget. Choose your garden site and map out the area. Use your resources to find the best site for gardening with plenty of sun and healthy soil. Take note of any utilities underground or nearby using a Locate website and submit an appropriate Locate request. This planning part can be fun for students to draw their own garden plan. Now is the time to source out materials, schedule deliveries, and ask for a helping hand when the big day comes. Always remember to be creative. These high school students are building the wood frames for raised garden beds to share in the experience. Now that your garden is installed, you can put it to good use and grow healthy, fresh food. At this time, you can choose the fruit and vegetable varieties that would benefit your grades and learning objectives. This is a great time to build curricula and put it in motion. Get everyone involved and bring people out for big garden events such as planting days, harvest days, and work days. You can build a visual display in the school to showcase the garden and your school community.